Tonight, loved ones are still hopeful that two teens missing at sea since Friday will be found. The Coast Guard found their boat capsized off the coast of Florida. CBS 4's Ted Scouten joins us live from Jupiter. Ted? Cynthia and Rick, uh, this is where the boys left. This is Jupiter's Inlet. Uh, that was on Friday. Now, tonight, family and friends, hundreds of them were here for a vigil, the last place where those boys were seen. They're still out there somewhere, God, that we have faith, God, we have faith that we believe. Hundreds of people pray for their friends Perry Cohen and Austin Stefanos. The boys have been missing since Friday, leaving on a boat from this inlet in Jupiter. Their friends say these lanterns in the sky are meant to light their way home. Hopefully they, they, the lanterns will fly far enough that they'll be able to see them and just know that we're still looking for them and that we, like, we need them to come home. These boys are beautiful boys. They really, really are. Pamela Cohen is Perry's mom. She can only believe the boys will be found alive and well, despite this eerie video showing the boys' boat capsized miles off the coast of Daytona Beach. Yeah, just confirm nobody's uh, on board so trying to find any other gear. Cohen said despite their young age of 14, the boys are experienced boaters who know how to survive. At the time of whenever this incident happened that forced the boat to capsize, they use their heads and they are smart and they are working to stay for us to come and get them. The Coast Guard said it is possible, despite conditions at sea, they can survive for days. And in a warm water, um, you, can, you can survive for quite a few days. Four to five days is uh, in these, these conditions. Friend showed us his picture from Snapchat from the day they left with fishing poles in tow. The caption says, peace out, Jupe, short for Jupiter. A friend said he saw another post that had him worried. I looked at the Snapchat and it was towards the water a little bit, but then at the end of the video, he pointed it towards the inlet, and you could just see the storm coming in super fast. Them just saying we're effed. The Coast Guard has already searched an area the size of Indiana. They're concentrating offshore near Jacksonville and have promised to continue. That's a relief to family and friends who believe the boys will come home, but realize time is not on their side. I'm hopeful. They're strong kids. I'm sure they're still out there trying the hardest. I'm confident, but I mean, you have to look at the facts. How many days can they go in the water without food or water? And tonight, the family put out a statement thanking everyone for their thoughts and prayers. They're also asking for money. They're using that money to fund a private search effort. That's along with the Coast Guard. They have a GoFundMe site. To find out more about that, go to our website, cbsmiami.com. Live in Jupiter, Ted Scouten, CBS 4 News Tonight.